So let's talk about some magnetic field strengths of common objects. And I'm going to use Gauss instead of Tesla because it's just easier. And remember, one Tesla equals 10,000 Gauss. So the Earth's magnetic field averages about 0.5 Gauss, which is 0.33 at the equator, 0.66 at the poles. The Sun's magnetic field, interestingly, is, is only about double the Earth's at about one Gauss. And it's because the Sun is much larger, so the field is much more spread out. Now, low-intensity PMF devices, which I really feel are the safest and best intensities to use, are in the range of around 0.1 to 5 Gauss. Now, refrigerator magnets are going to be around 100 Gauss. Medium-range PMF intensity devices that I don't recommend, but they're still not terrible, are going to be in the range of, of 10 to 1,000 Gauss. And sometimes they use millitesla, just as microtesla is used in low intensity. A good ceramic magnet, if you've ever seen some really of those strong ceramic magnets, they're going to have around 2,500 to 4,000 Gauss. The neodymium magnets, which are really the strongest permanent magnets, are going to be rated around 12,000 to 14,000 Gauss. Now, junkyard magnets, which pick up entire cars, are electromagnets, and they're, they're working in about the 1 to 2 Tesla or 10,000 to 20,000 Gauss range as well. So actually, let's kind of go back here. So neodymium magnets are going to be about 1.2 to 1.4 Tesla. So we can kind of use Tesla there because we're getting high enough because the Tesla is a very strong field strength. Uh, so basically, neodymium magnets, junkyard magnets, MRIs, and high-intensity PMF devices are all within this 1 to 3 Tesla range, which is 10,000 to 30,000 Gauss. So for PMF, I absolutely advise against getting high intensity because think about it. If you get a 1 to 2 Tesla PMF device, that's the same field strength as a junkyard magnet that can pick up a whole car. Do you really want that kind of intensity pulsing through your body? I certainly don't. You can use these short term, but it's not something you want to use on an ongoing basis. And I strongly, strongly advise against it. And I've done a whole video series, which I'll put at a link below this video, of why more is not better. So we're going to keep coming back to this theme of less is more and why you want a low-intensity frequency resonance PMF system.